my little friends. I got getting ready for bed tonight. Well, I do have an awesome story for you. It is from our Disney 5 Minute Girl Power Stories. This next story is from Zootopia. Big Trouble in Little Rosetta. Every since she was a little bun, little rabbit in the barrel, Judy Hopps had dreamed of being the first ever bunny cop in the Zootopia Police Department. After a lot of of hard work, she graduated from the CPD Police Academy at the top of her class. And today was her first day on the job. She couldn't wait for her first assignment. Turn out to be issuing parking tickets. Judy's ears fell in disappointment. She wanted to solve crime, not be a meter maid. <clears throat> Still, she worked hard because she wanted to do a good job. Her sharp hearing alerted her to expire meters and she gave out two two down two or one parking tickets before lunchtime. Someday she hoped she get a chance to do more. The next day, Judy was sitting at her meter car when she heard A cry for help. My sock! <coughs> <coughs> My sock! It's just been robbed! Look, he's getting away! A local merchant shouted, Are you a cop or not? Yes, yes, don't worry, sir. I got this, Judy said. She leapt into she leapt into action and went after the criminal. Stop! Stop in the name of the law she yelled at him. She chased him through the alleyway. Catch me if you can, Cottontail, he hollered back. Another cop soon joined her in the chase, but Judy ran ahead. This was her big chance to fight crime. I got dibs, she hollered. Ops or hops, I'm in pursuit. The thief was, the thief, Duke Wilsonton, tried to escape among the animals in Savannah Central. But the but as a rabbit, Judy knew how to make super quick moves around big objects. 
She stayed on the weasel's tail. He tried to disappear into Little Rosetta, a neighborhood of small rodents. But Judy quickly followed him. You freeze, she said, sliding through the town tiny entrance. Hey, Mina Maid, one of the cops called after her. Wait for the real cops. But the other cops were too big to follow. Judy was the only one small enough to continue the chase. When Duke realized that Judy was getting closer, he sped up, which caused a lot of problems for the local residents, especially riders on the uptown bus. Fortunately, Judy arrived in time to save the day. As Judy caught up to him, he raced him. He raced even faster to try to escape. Duke climbed on top of a row of little Rosetta buildings and knocked them over, just like a set of dominoes. Kick on, kick on. Tink, tink, tink. Judy put the buildings, buildings upright again, stopping just long enough to make sure so all the rodents were safe. Then she took off after Duke again. Hey, stop! <coughs> Hey, stop right there," she said, racing down the street. Finally, Judy caught up to Duke, and grabbed him. As they struggled, Judy. Long Duke across the street. She tried to arrest him peacefully, but the weasel had another idea. Here, here, have a donut, copper. Duke said with a nasty laugh. Ha 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 ha. Desperate to escape, the weasel kicked a giant donut safe sign from a donut shop at her. She dodged it and flew straight towards a few dudes crossing the street. Judy raced to the rescue. Fortunately, she caught it just before it crushed one of the tiny stewards who were out shopping. Meanwhile, Duke was about to sneak away when dress. Judy slammed the slammed the donut sign on top of the crook. 
and made her first arrest. She took him back to the ZPD headquarters, proud of herself for her very first chase. I popped the weasel," she said, when she arrived back at the department. That's how Judy became the first little bunny to handle big police work in the Zootopia Police Department. Her dream had come true. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story tonight, and I hope you guys have an awesome day today. Love you guys. Bye.